So this is the 2017 Honda Accord EXL V6. Unfortunately, this one is not a standard. This is just the automatic, but it's still a good car. So let's get up close and personal with the 2017 Honda Accord Coupe. The exterior color is called Deep Blue Opal Metallic, and I think it looks pretty good on this car. And since this is an EXL, you have standard remote start and smart key entry. So here's the key fob for the Accord with the lock, unlock, remote start, trunk release, and panic button. And you do have remote start. So to use remote start, just make sure that the car is locked, press it twice, and press and hold the start button. The car will flash at you to confirm that it's started. And to turn it off, just press and hold it again. So since you have remote start, you have smart key entry. So just make sure that the car is locked. Walk up to the car with your key in your pocket. And to unlock it, just grab the door handle. The car will beep at you. And to lock it, just press the black button on the door handle. It'll beep at you once. So you have a black leather interior with a 10-way power driver's seat. It is perforated leather with some st with white stitching. I think it looks nice. Here's your door panel. All of this right here is a soft to the touch material. You have some carbon fiber trim right here and some brushed aluminum right here. I think it looks pretty nice. You have a cup holder and some storage. Now both windows are automatic. Here are your door locks, window locks, and mirror controls. You also have two position memory for your driver's seat. Now like any new car, you get a really nice thud when you close the door. I really appreciate that. Makes me feel like I'm in a solid car. My first impressions of the Accords interior are that I, I really like the interior of the new Accords. Honda is going to redesign the Accord for the 2018 model year, so I'll be excited to see what that looks like. So since you have a smart key access system, you also have push button start. So just make sure that the key fob is anywhere inside the car. I'm going to leave it in the cup holder. Put your foot on the brake and press the start button to go. So you have a four spoke leather wrapped steering wheel, which should be pretty familiar if you've seen the new Pilot or Ridgeline interior. I'm pretty sure the new Odyssey should be getting this steering wheel. So you have some nice piano black accenting on the sides, and it is leather wrapped. It's a pretty good feeling wheel too. You also have paddle shifters which are on the back of the steering wheel. I'm surprised that this car has a little horn like that for being an Accord because I'm pretty sure the Accord sedan has a more mature sounding horn instead of like a meep meep horn. That's just me. So on the left side of the steering wheel you have your audio controls with your volume, channel selection, source, menu selection buttons, and below you have your Bluetooth phone buttons and your voice control button. And on the right side you have your cruise control buttons with your cruise and acceleration and deceleration and cancel button. This model does not have the adaptive cruise control or lane keep assist or lane departure warning. It basically doesn't have Honda sensing on it, but it is available. So on the left of the steering wheel are your headlight controls and on the right are your wiper controls. Just to the left of that you have some more carbon fiber material right here. And some this is plastic right here, it's not leather, but it, it but it's a good feeling plastic. You have your econ button, which basically maximizes fuel economy, and your traction control off button. Your hood release and trunk release are down on the bottom. So looking up at the instrument panel, you have your tachometer on the left, your spinometer on in the middle, 
it's all analog and in the middle of that is your information screen and on the right of that is your engine temperature and your fuel gauge. So since this is an Accord V6, you have Honda's reliable 3.5 liter V6. We'll listen to it later in the video, but my first impressions of the sound are really nice. This, th this thing sounds good. I'm excited to hear how it sounds later. So the information screen is pretty basic, but it is pretty informative. You have your instant miles per gallon, your odometer, your trip computer, your drive select, like park to sport, and your temperature. And using this button right here, you could scroll through all of your different little menus and informations. So this shows your trip computer A, your range, average miles per gallon, that is not accurate, and your trip B, and your oil life. Now coming to the center, you have your start button right here, and you have a 7 inch touchscreen display here, and an 8 inch display which is not touchscreen up top. So you can look at your information up top here using the menu and these, bo these two menu buttons. So here's your audio, it's off right now, vehicle information, your display settings. This is the default screen, so it shows your clock and your date. And it shows your average fuel economy and rain and trip computer up top right here. This model does not have navigation, so that's why it's sort of a basic, a more basic screen layout. So down here you have your 7 inch touchscreen display. So here's your audio, information, like trip computer and voice information, and system information. You also have Honda Link. My phone isn't paired to it right now, and it's not. I don't have the app. AHA, basically online radio. Your Bluetooth phone connection. I'll pair my phone later. Your system settings. You do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's standard on EX models and above. And your different apps. You can also get more apps if you want to. And I like that you can scroll through this screen like it's a tablet. So it's pretty intuitive. So when you're using CarPlay or Android Auto, you plug in your phone in the little USB port right here, which has a phone icon on it. And you have to unlock your phone, so let's do that. Okay. And so it basically shows all of your phone's information in the car. And just like your iPhone, if you just press and hold this little home button, you'll get Siri. Weather. Okay, the temperature today will range between 19 degrees and 33 degrees. What's happening next weekend? Looking. December 31st, 2016, you have an all-day event. New Year's Eve. January 1st, 2017, you have an all-day event. New Year's Day. That's it. So it's pretty intuitive, and I like how it's integrated in the car. So this shows all of your phone. Who shall I help you call? And Siri will always be there to help you you know, keep everything hands-free. So here are your favorites, recents, contacts, which you can swipe through all of them here, your keypad, and your voicemails. So it's basically like the same thing on your phone. Here's your music, which syncs up to your phone. Apple Maps, which is loading right now. And it shows you your location, and it can show you all of your previous destinations. You also have a little compass up top of here. Your text messages. All of those. And this is just back to Honda, in your Honda interface. Podcasts. Which you can listen to anything that's on your phone in the car. Which I think is pretty cool. Your audiobooks. I don't have any. And you have iHeartRadio, Pandora, and Spotify. Those are all internet radio apps. So that's pretty cool. 
So that's basically just a quick overview of Apple CarPlay. I don't have an Android phone, so I can't show you Android Auto. But right here is your home button, your volume, which is not an actual physical button. Honda is bringing back the physical button. Your menu and back buttons. And this is to turn on your audio. This is to eject your CD and to dim your brightness on the screen and completely turn it off. Now you have dual zone automatic climate control which is standard on EX models and above. You get a lot of features on the EX. It is automatic. Your front and rear defrost. When you turn on your rear defrost, since this model does have heated mirrors, those will also turn on. Here's your on off button, your sync button, different modes, your vent speed, AC and recirculation and your temperature control buttons. Now in here, I already showed this to you, but this is just a little center cubby, which does have room for a phone. I'm pretty sure this could, this does, this does not fit my iPhone 7 Plus, but if you have like an iPhone 6 or iPhone 7, it should fit in there. And this is a 1.5 amp USB port, and you do have some cable management to close it and keep everything organized. And down here is another little center cubby that you can just put your phone in if you want to. And just to the bottom of that, you have dual stage heated seats. You don't have cooled seats. That's not an, that's not available on the Accord. It most likely will be for the next gen model year. And all Accord V6s come standard with a six speed automatic or you could get a six speed manual and you do have a sport mode and when you put the car into reverse on both screens it'll help you you have a multi view backup camera so here's your normal view wide view and top down view which helps with if you're parking and when you put the car in drive or sport mode you can use your paddle shifters This is some more carbon fiber, you know, to give it a sporty look. This is plastic down here. And coming to your glove box, which is damped, you do have an adequate amount of space. So you could fit an iPad or a small computer in there. And down here you get two cup holders, a manual parking brake. And you have a nice center armrest, which is leather padded with some stitching here. You open it with this button. It's an okay size. You do have a 1 amp USB port and another power outlet. It is felt lined on the bottom. And coming up top, you have an auto dimming rear view mirror. And this model does have a sunroof, so you push it to tilt it, and it's one touch. Here are your door controls, like your lighting and everything. Here are your map lights. You have garage home link. Here's the microphone for your Bluetooth. And you have a sunglass compartment. And you do have visors with lights and mirrors. So let's check out the back seats of the Accord Coupe. So it's pretty easy to get in the back. You just pull this and the seat will slide forward. So you do get some room to get back in the car. I actually have a lot of space behind here. I'm about five foot seven or five foot eight, and the seat is almost all the way back, and I still have about an inch of legroom. I also have good headroom too. And the rear seats are pretty comfortable, just like the front seats. You don't get an armrest, and the center seat is a little bit raised, and you do have a little bit of a hump, but it's not terrible. Now looking on this side, you have some small little cubbies like you could put your phone or something in there. You have a plastic armrest right here. This is all plastic back here. But it's oh, it's okay. And you do have height adjustable headrest. And now visibility in the Accord Coupe is actually pretty good. I can see out of everything. So you don't really have that many blind spots. And also speaking of blind spots, you do have Honda's Lane Watch, 
So it either turns on when you put your right turn signal on, on this top screen, which there's a camera on the bottom of the passenger side mirror, and it basically is a blind spot monitor. This red line marks where the rear bumper of your car is. So if you're trying to pass someone, you should look at the first orange line, because that shows one car length. Or you'll be cutting people off like crazy. So let's check out the trunk of the Accord. So to open the trunk of the Accord, you could either pull the lever inside the car, or just make sure that the car is unlocked, and press and hold the trunk release button. And it pops open. So the trunk of the Accord Coupe is pretty big, and you get just under 13 and a half cubic feet of volume. And the rear seats do fold, but it's just one piece. And underneath, using this hole, you do get a donut. So I'm glad that this car has a spare tire. And this is the lever to fold the seats, and this is your emergency release. So let's get under the hood of the Accord Coupe. So when you close the door and the key fob is on you, the car will beep at you, just warning you that the key fob is on you and it doesn't detect it. The car is actually pretty quiet when it's idling from the front of the car. So the hood latch is just to the left on the top of the Honda logo. Just pull it to the right and pull it up. It is gas strut assisted, which is one good thing that I like. So you have a 3.5 liter single overhead cam 24 valve V6 that makes 278 horsepower and 252 pound-feet of torque. It's not direct injected, but you do get good fuel economy and good power. Now Accord V6s, especially the coupes with the manual, are known to be pretty high performance, getting 0 to 60 times around 5 to 6 seconds. You should be expecting about 21 miles per gallon in the city, 32 on the highway with a combined rating of 34. Now this is only front wheel drive, the Acura TLX is all wheel drive, well it has available all wheel drive, and it's going to a 6 speed automatic transmission. So let's hear how this Accord sounds. The car does have a rev limiter. But I think it sounds really nice. That sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> so let's check out the exterior by turning on the headlights, fog lights, and hazards. So coming to the front end of the Accord, you have halogen projector beam low beams and reflector beam high beams with LED daytime running lights with look, which look pretty sharp. And you do get LED fog lights. Honestly, I really like how these Accords look, especially since this one has the black chrome grille 
it really sets it apart from the other looking, the other Accords. This color doesn't look too bad either, but it's only available with the automatics though. So coming to the side, you have 18 inch alloy wheels with four wheel disc brakes. The front brakes are ventilated and the rears are solid and you do get all season Michelin tires. Coming to the side view mirrors, you have LED turn signal indicators on them and they are heated and power adjusting. And here's your lane watch camera. You have chrome door handles. Coming to the back, you have LED tail lights with halogen brake lights and turn signals and reverse lights. You get your V6 badging and your third brake light with your backup camera right there. And you do get some reflectors right here with a nice chrome band that goes along all of the rear bumper. And you do get this really nice sounding dual exhaust with chrome tips. You also get a shark fin antenna on top and this model does have the sunroof. So the Accord Coupe is sort of in a dying breed because there's only one other mid-sized coupe that I would say would sort of compete with it and that would be the Hyundai Genesis Coupe and that's rear wheel drive and a comparable trim level to the EXL V6 that we have right now would be the 3.8 R spec and that has much more power and it's much more of a sport oriented car than the Accord because the Accord is front wheel drive and the Genesis is rear wheel drive. Anyways, the trim levels of the Accord Coupe start at the LXS which is $24,025, the EX which is $26,150, the EXL which is $28,995, the EXL V6 just like all model which is $31,175, and the Touring, which is $34,375. Now all of the four-cylinder models get a standard CVT, while the V6 models can either get a six-speed manual or a six-speed automatic. But the manual transmission is only available on the EXL V6, not on the Touring, because the Touring has Honda Sensing, and all of those safety features. So the Accord really doesn't have any other competitors because the Camry Solora is gone, the Altima Coupe is gone, there was no Fusion Coupe or Mazda 6 Coupe. So the Accord is basically the only one in its segment that is a coupe and mid-sized. So thank you guys for getting up close and personal with the 2017 Honda Accord EXL V6 with me today. And if you have any questions about the Accord V6 or any Honda or the redesign of the new Accord, just leave them in the comments section below and I'll try to answer your questions as quickly as possible if I can answer them. And I'd also like to give a special shout out to Sport Honda of Silver Spring, Maryland for letting me come film the new Accord today. And have a good day and thank you for watching.